Hey, what is up you guys? My name is Georgie Grimm and welcome back to my channel. Hi, what's up? I've been busy, but that's not new. That's not new. None of this is new. Um, you guys usually know how this goes. My goal, like truly, like is to start trying to upload more frequently to my channel. My hair looks kind of weird. I feel like it looks kind of strange right now. I've had a lot of like weird stuff happen in my life recently. A lot of like wacko changes that I'm not really a huge fan of, but like they keep happening. So like, it's kind of like whatever, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna like give you guys a rundown of what's been happening in my life recently. I feel like all these videos that I do are like kind of like life updates. And I'm talking about like what's happening in my life currently. I truly feel as though I'm like not the greatest YouTuber ever because I have been a little bit lax in my upload schedule for my channel. And my goal right now is to start trying to upload like on Wednesdays instead of Mondays like how I used to, but that wasn't even that consistent when I first started that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I also like wanna start trying to get my podcast episode out by Wednesday as well. By the way, you guys, if you didn't already know this, I have a podcast called How to Adult and you can find it on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. So go ahead and go check me out. Leave a like, a rate, a comment, and a review. And then let me know what you guys think on my YouTube channel. So thanks. I look forward to hearing from you guys soon. My nose is kind of like fucked up right now because of all this smoke that's happening in Washington right now. Literally, it looks like we're in the fucking apocalypse. It's insane let me just like show you guys what i'm talking about hold on yeah so that's my current view right now that's not fog that's literally smoke i'm fucking times yo yeah so like if you're in california or you're in canada or you're in oregon or you're also in washington you guys know what i'm talking about and it's not the vibes it is not what is up it is not cool it is not fun it is not fresh it is a global outcry to say we need reform we need change we need to vote somebody into the white house that is actually going to help us get through this shit storm that was created by none other than donald j trump that motherfucker really fucked us over good i don't really care care about what anybody says about my political beliefs. I'm very open about it. I don't fuck with the guy in the White House right now. He's not cool. He's not fun. He's not fresh. He's not on my fucking list of people who I would call for an emergency because guess what? He sucks at handling global emergencies as we saw in his interview with Woodrow talking about how he knew that the pandemic that is currently happening was going to be a huge one that was going to be bad but he wanted to downplay it that's the thing about this is that he downplayed it because he didn't want to like instill fear into the american people but the only thing that he did by doing that was make us more scared because we didn't know what this was and so now that you have this interview coming out recently, like within this past week, everybody's like, holy shit, this dude fucking knew about it way before it even hit. And it's like, you could have done so much more. You could have helped so many more people by talking about it, but you chose not to. It's because he's selfish. It's like, that's the truth is that he's selfish and he decided to actively hide information because he just, he didn't want people to freak out apparently. But it's like, I don't think that that's what it even is. I think he wanted to do it because I truly like, I don't know if he wanted to purposefully fuck us over. Cause I don't know. I really want to believe that like, he's not that sadistic. Also at the same time, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I don't personally know. Yeah, that's fun. That's cute. I love that for us. Anyways, talking about what's happening in my life, my daily life, my day to day, my living, breathing, humanistic life recently. So I've been kind of busy at work. I do a lot of stuff. I've been going to the chiropractor. I just had therapy yesterday. I feel great. I've been dealing with a lot of emotional problems. A lot of my friends that I thought were my friends have decided to disappear on me. I know why, but I've also come to kind of realize like what I want from myself, what I want from my life and like who works in my life right now and who isn't working in my life right now for me. 
And it's just, it's kind of like created this weird moment for me where I've decided to kind of like do a purge of people in my life who I don't think fit or align to what I want for myself from my life. And I've been really just trying to figure out like what is best for me, you know, what is best? Who should I surround myself with? I have decided to surround myself with people who are like-minded, who are creative people, who are artists, who are passionate about what they're doing with their lives, and who are headed in the same direction as me. And for those who I have decided to coincidentally purge out of my life, it's because you just don't fit with my life right now. You just don't fit with my mold, with what I want for myself from my life. And it, it was hard to purge the people out of my life who I did because I truly do care about those people a lot and it hurts because I know that I'm making the right decision for myself right now. But I also understand that there's moments where I've been like not the best friend. And I kind of did look at those moments and I was like, hmm, maybe I should just, you know, take a step back for myself and kind of like figure out where I'm at with my life, what I want from myself as a person. And I think it's okay. I, I think truly, I think it is okay to like look at your life and be like, hey, I don't feel like I should be in inviting this negative energy into my life. It's toxic, it's not helping anybody. And I know for a fact that I was hurting the people who I was around as well. You know, they were hurting me and I was hurting them and it was a mutually toxic relationship. And I just, I can't be around people like that. And so what it's worth, I do truly hope that they are well and that they're doing what they wanna do with their lives and that they're following their dreams and their paths and they're doing what they need to to help themselves get better. I feel like Jeffree Star right now being super shady about like what I'm talking about but not giving any specifics whatsoever, but kind of speaking out to a general population of people and just being like, well, I think that what I'm doing right now is best for myself because I do, I do. I truly think that what I'm doing by purging the people out of my life who I should right now is helping me so much. And I've had a lot of like toxic friendships and relationships in the past that have kind of like bogged me down and brought just pain in general. And it's sad because it's like, I know that there were good parts, but then there's also like the bad parts that I'm paying attention to as well. And I'm like, I need to fix that about myself so I can come back a much better version of myself. And I'm not closing the door on those people forever because that's not a good mentality to have because I'm acknowledging the fact that we did have good moments and I know that we can have more good moments but I think that what we need to do is just work on ourselves for right now and just kind of do our own thing and just work on what we need to personally and move forward with our lives that's exactly what I'm doing right now because I know that that's what I need to do I just need to focus on myself focus on my art focus on what I want to do as a creator to make myself better and just make my life better, make myself much more mentally healthy. My goal of this channel is to help people through problems that they're going through instead of like just complaining about my own problems. And so like, honestly, you guys straight up, and this is kind of what I do for my podcast anyways. If you guys have issues that you want me to talk about, that you want me to discuss on this channel, please feel free to just come to me and be like, hey, Georgie, I'm dealing with this problem. Can you please talk about it? And like kind of give me some advice on how to deal with it. I have not brought in a big enough audience on my podcast yet to say hey guys come at me with some questions i would like for you guys to just talk to me but on my youtube channel i do actually have that platform so if you guys have that i guess desire for me to talk about things on this channel or on my podcast please feel free to come to me and just ask for advice because i i love giving advice and i love helping people and i know that what i do is meant to help people and i just i want to do that so there's two halves of this video. There's the serious part and then there's the just I'm fucking around type part, you know what I mean? So recently my life has been kind of fucking insane. I've been going to work a lot and then I've been going and coming home. I work so many hours in a day. I literally work 10 hours, four days of the week and then I get three days off, which is really nice, but I'm pretty fucking tired by the end of it. Whenever I go home, I'm just like in such a shitty mood because I just like want to sleep and so that's what I've also been doing recently is like working on kind of just like figure out what is a good system for me to kind of like do while I'm at work because I sit at a desk I'm a concierge basically and I have you know, security cameras on one side and then like other information on the other side and I talk to people every
every day. You know, I talk to the same people I see every single day, same residents. And you know, there are people that pass through the lobby every now and then, you know, there's workers, there's food delivery people. There's a whole shebang of like random people, but we do all adhere to the social distancing rules. We all wear our masks. We're safe. We're not doing anything that we shouldn't be doing. This morning I woke up with a lot of like stomach pain and I was like, shit, this sucks. I want to not be feeling this type of way. And I was like, why do I feel this way? I had to poop in the morning. It was kind of terrible. And I was like, shit, what's going on? What's wrong with my bowel? Is it my IBS that's acting up again? Because I think that's what's happening right now. And so I was like, shit, I don't know what's happening. And then I remembered. And then I fucking remembered. And then I literally remember that I drank like a fucking monster last night. And I was like, oh, 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 that's what it was. That's what made me feel like shit and what made me have to go poop twice in one morning. And I was like, this is horrible. I feel fine now, but it was like, why, you know? And then I thought about it and I was like, it was because I drank a beer before I drank liquor. And that's what brought me to this moment right now. I do have a problem. I do I do have a slight problem there where I will like, I'll, I'll drink a lot. I'll drink a lot. Probably too much, but like it's fine. So, and then like I'll drink, but then in the morning I'll feel like shit and I'll be like, why do I feel like shit? What's wrong with me? Holy fucking shit. Why do I feel like this? And I'm like, oh, it's probably because I drink. And then I forget that drinking gives me the shits. And so I'm like, wow, what the fuck? Yeah, so that's fun and fresh. So you'll learn so much more about me, like like what I'm like um, in general, <laughs> by listening to my podcast or like following me on TikTok because I post so much on TikTok. By the way, I just like hit 5K. I'm almost to 6K right now on TikTok, which blows my mind because it was all because of this one singular viral video that I posted talking about girls being trafficked in Washington because by the way, you guys, there have been people who've been going around Washington recently, especially Especially like the Seattle area, trafficking girls and like trying to get them to come into, you know, fucking human trafficking ring. How they do that is that they will like, oftentimes they will put out a recording of like a cat meowing to get somebody to go check it out and like see what that is. Or they'll put a recording, like make it loud and like put a recording out of like a baby crying, like just in the streets randomly. And like, obviously there's no baby crying or cat meowing. And that's the goal of what they're trying to do is get you to go and check it out. And oftentimes because women are more caring than men are. <laughs> Not really. I mean, that's like kind of bullshit. It's the goal. The mentality is that women have like this instinct, this motherly instinct. And so that's why they put those sounds out other than like somebody screaming or something like that. It's like, nobody wants to go check out if somebody's screaming. That's weird. You know, you don't want to see what's happening if somebody's fucking screaming. They could be getting murdered. Maybe you should. I don't know. Like maybe you should check that out. I don't know. We'll talk about that later. A couple like weeks ago, I had literally heard a recording of a meow over and over again between the hours of 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. It just was consistent. And I have never fucking heard it again after that in my neighborhood, which was so fucking weird because I was like immediately. So I'd seen a video about it, talking about it happening in Washington before I'd posted this video and it went viral. And then literally the night that I saw it, I heard the meow and I was like, dude, what the fuck is going on? What? And so I was like, this, this is crazy. I have to make a video about this. And then I did. And now it's like almost to 600,000 views, which is insane, bro. So yeah, that's what's happening too on TikTok for me. That's cool. It's much better than me posting fucking TikTok dances and be like, oh my God, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Ugh. whatever. I don't, Jesus Christ. I don't know. So this has been my wild story life update whatever by the way i thrifted this shirt it's sick it says detroit lakes minnesota and i got it at one of my favorite thrift stores and i was like waiting for me to get like more money so i could buy it later and i bought it along with one of my other favorite t-shirts that i've ever bought and like i made it also cropped like this and i'm just like whew, bitch the fuck i'm so excited about it and so I can't buy this anywhere sorry 
I mean, you could probably go to Detroit and like try and find the same shirt, but I guarantee you it's probably not there. So this has been a day in my life with me, Georgie Grimm. Be sure to go check out my Instagram, my podcast, How to Adult by Me, your hostess for the evening, Georgie Grimm, on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And then be sure to go check out my TikTok at Georgie Grimm as well. I'll catch you guys next week. Kay, thanks. Bye.